Okay, so now that we've set up our Wi-Fi and our Windows Live account, um, first thing we want to do when setting up our Lumia 800 is to transfer our contacts from our old phone, which I have here my Nokia N8. So we're going to go open the menu and go to Context Transfer. Okay, preparing for transfer. Continue. I have my Bluetooth on on the N8, and it's found. Tap to pair. Connecting. Yes. Accept. Now, transferring contact. Trust the Lumia 800. And accept. 155 contacts were found. Hundred fifty five contacts were found. Press continue to start transfer. Continue. It's quite fast. And transfer blank contacts on during transfer were not con were not transferred. Okay. So, we should be done. Now, I should be able to find all my contacts in my people hub. So, if I just go back and open my people hub again, I will have all my contacts over here listed alphabetically, and at the same time I'll still have all the contacts which were on my Windows Live accounts. Now that I've set up my um, my contacts and transferred them over, I can start setting up my accounts. So we go to settings and we just go to email and accounts. Where add an account, choose what we want to add. Um, we have Windows Live, Nokia Mail, Yahoo Mail, other accounts. Okay, one thing while I was setting up, when I first started the thing, I got an option to set up a Nokia account. I can't find that option at all. This is Nokia Mail, which is at Nokia or at Ovi, but I can't find the Nokia account, which I assume is the same Nokia account as I would be using on my N8. So we're just going to start setting up Gmail, enter your email. And then password and sign it. Now we have, it says Google adequacy at gmail.com is syncing. So while that's syncing, I see now it's content, transferring contacts. We'll go ahead and set up my Twitter. Got a Twitter account to your phone. Okay. Connecting to Twitter. Authorize app, of course. Now I'm being redirected back to the hub, I guess. Okay. Now my Google account is still syncing my messages now, so um, Twitter is now connected to Windows Live, but it'll take a few minutes to get everything set up. So we'll go ahead and add my Facebook as well. I believe I can just sign in with my username instead of putting my whole password, instead of just putting my whole email, sorry. Facebook chat. If you want to chat with your Facebook friends on your phone, I think I'll skip this step. Okay, so now I have setting up my Twitter account is setting up, my Gmail account is still syncing, and I have my Facebook account is also syncing. So now theoretically all my contacts from all three accounts should be in my people hub. So let's go check it out. First of all, I have my Gmail account at the I have got it on tile, it's got its own tile at the bottom. So let's just move that tile and put it somewhere nicer. Not here. Up here. Now, 
it says 32 new items for me. So I assume these are the updates from the new accounts I've seen. But first, let's check out the People Hub. Yes, the People Hub now has my Hotmail contacts, my Gmail contacts, my Facebook contacts, and possibly my Twitter contacts. I'm not sure about Twitter. But the problem is that all your contacts doesn't, it has no smart sync where it the text, these are the same contact and merges them together. So you end up with multiple contacts of the same person. So it could be a bit tiresome. Like here I have four different, four contacts for the same person. So let's go check out my people hub now. It's been updated to my Facebook and Twitter page instead of my Windows Live picture. And I can see my latest tweet, which was over today. And now I can post the message, check in or set a chat status. So let's see what notifications are. I have my Twitter notifications here. These are all Twitter. And then now I've, it's according to time. So Twitter, and then all of a sudden it switches to Facebook. OK, so what's new is basically your news feed for Facebook with Twitter. OK, now you have profile. OK, let's try set post the message post the message, you can choose to post it to Facebook or Twitter. So let's post the message to, hello, testing. And let's choose only Twitter, okay? Check and accept. It's now posted by me and um, It comes up in my what's new, in my news feed. I now have testing, and I can choose to reply to myself, which is a bit silly, but let's do it. This is a reply. OK, so that's about it for setting up accounts. We've looked at Facebook, Gmail. Uh, yes, let's just take a look at what the Gmail inbox looks like. Unread emails have a blue light underneath them, or written in blue color. And if you have a, a threaded email, if you click on the thread, you'll get responses from that single thread altogether. That's a lot of emails. And um, that's about it. I will see you in a bit when setting up something else. I don't know what exactly. Thank you.